Uh, hello, this is uh, part of a series that I'm doing here on using uh, QTVLM for plotting exercises on a chart, things we would do on a chart uh, with a paper chart with parallel rulers and dividers we're doing uh, by the electronic tools available in the program. And, um, and so we did a few of them and now I want to do some examples of current sailing. So the first one we'll just find the course made good and speed made good for a given, in other words, we have a heading, we're driving on a given heading, we know there's a given current, how is that going to, what, what, how is that going to affect our course? And then here's an example to do, uh, uh, 60, so we're going, here's a case where we're driving the boat 060, and the speed of the boat is 6.5, and the current that we're getting somewhere, like the current tables tell us, the current at this time should be setting in direction 300 true, and it has a drift, a speed of 1.5 knots. And the answer is, what? How does that affect our course made good and speed made good? That's the that's the problem. Okay, and so we're going to use the pathway tools that we did with some earlier things. Edit, create a pathway. Uh, let's make it blue, the color blue, so it stands out. We'll go, it doesn't matter about the date for now. We want it to go from the, from the mark, not the boat. We don't want to hide anything. Actually, I think we can make this one closed uh, because it's a vector triangle. All right, so let's just append the POIs and start. And so we just start at any point here, and then where are we going? 60 degrees. So let me go over here. Well, I can even finish. Let me go over here. There's where that is in the current, something like 300. Uh, like there. So there's our triangle and I'm done. Now we can just make these things right. And so, uh, or let me, let me come down here a little ways. Okay. It doesn't matter where on the paper you solve this because we're just, we're after our course made good and speed made good. So it doesn't where we, matter where we do it. So this is 45. We want to be going 60, 060. Uh, 060 is about here. Wait a minute, where is it? Right about here. And so uh, we're going 6.5. 6.5 at 060 is something like right there. That's as good as, okay, that's good. Now the current then, and the current is a setting in direction 300. That's about there. And it has a speed of 1.5. Now I can stop and zoom in, you see, and move that around. But let's do this. Okay, one. There's 1.5, and that's 300, and that's about it right there. Whoa. Okay, that's good enough for now. You see the point. And besides, we don't know these numbers. When we say the current's 301.5, now what is that? You know, that may be right, may not be right. Okay, so here's the answer then. You see, what happens is in one hour, in one hour, my boat goes from here to here. And in one hour, the water, the whole water moves it from here to here. So this is the actual way I'm progressing. My boat's always pointing in that direction, but it's actually moving in this direction. And so this then is my speed made good. That is 5.9, 5.9. You see the length of this is how far I go in one hour, and that you see I hold that there, 5.9. And that over here, you see the computed answer on our calculator, 5.9 down here. That's correct. And now the direction, well, I don't want to have to, oh, whoops, excuse me. I don't want to have to do the math here. So let me just click that. You see, right now, you see that little arrow? It's pointing that way. But we're go actually going that way. So what I would do is just hit it, edit that and then reverse it. Now I can come up here and I don't have to do the math. The direction is 04, this gives 047.0. And what did I get here? 047.3. You know, this is digitally corrected. Uh, digitally correct. Okay, so that's how you would do it. That's how you would do it. It's very simple. And then you have, you know, you would have this pathway. What did I call it? Oh, that's not very interesting. Uh, let me, interesting. Why don't we give this a name called current vector? Current vector, and that's okay. 
Now, now you see what you can do is now I can just get rid of these points. I I did a shift. I left left fingers on the shift. I drag it with a uh, that. Then I right click, delete all the marks. Yes. All right. But I've got stored here this thing called current vector. So I can always just go in here and just say it's done, and just say this. And now I can do this, this, and we're done. And then click here, stop. And then just set this up and solve any kind of vector. You know, I'm going this way, and let's say the current's actually going this. You know, this way. Um, you, well, I, well, wait a minute. Here, I'm going this way. The current's going this way, or the current could be going that way. It, you know, it doesn't matter. You can always solve it. And that's that's a slick way to do this. Then the other slick thing here is shift, uh, shift, drag. Right click, delete all marks, yes. Okay, I'll stop there and then I'll come back and do a different kind of current problem.